Hi, I'm Jeff Martyr, and here's my question for you. Who is the world's largest user of popcorn? The answer to that, right after we meet our contestants. Here's Chris Lamson. He loves old movies and always listens to the boss. Please welcome Amy Tibbles. She says she's seen every episode of I Love Lucy. And say hello to Tony Morgan. He's a movie holic with a massive record collection. And they're all here to play your American Pop Quiz. And now, here's your host, Jeff Martyr. Thank you. Hey, thanks for welcome to your American Pop Quiz. Oh, boy. Who is the world's largest user of popcorn? Let me give you another hint. Candy-coated popcorns, peanuts, and a prize. The world's largest user is Cracker Jack. All right, contestants, welcome to the show. Let me explain to you how we play the game. Take a look at our board. The first round questions are worth $200 each, and behind two of the numbers, you're going to find a pop quiz bonus question. Please remember, there's no penalty for a wrong answer, so if you think you know it, jump on in, and you probably do know it because, hey, it's a pop quiz, and... You're an American. All right. First person to buzz in is the first person to answer. If you answer incorrectly, the other two contestants can steal it from you. I understand that you all uh, had a little tractor pull backstage. Amy, you won. Start us off. Choose a question. Number five. Please. Number five. <coughs> all right. Amy, you started us off with a pop quiz bonus question. This is called Mix and Match. I'm going to have you match the company with the advertising slogan, okay? If you could see me now. Uh, Carnival Cruise Line? Yeah, way to go. 10 million strong and uh, growing. 10 million strong. Um, um, Flintstones Vitamins. Yeah, way to go. We bring good things to life. Uh, GE. The best a man can get. That would be Gillette. All right. Where do you want to put the last one? I, My baloney has a first name. It would be O-S-C-A-R. Yeah, that would yeah. be right. <laughs> yes, Amy, way to go. You picked up a thousand dollars right off the top. Okay, you've named your baloney. Now name another question. Which um, one you want? Number three, please. Number three, it is. This is for all of you. Critics of Reagan's 1983 Strategic Defense Initiative quickly dubbed it what? Chris, Star Wars. Star Wars is correct. Way to go. Chris, choose again. Uh, I'll take number seven. Number seven. For all of you, what Nine Lives TV cat was just too finicky, Tony? Morris. That is correct, Morris. He hasn't worked in a while, Tony. Choose again. Number one. Number one. All right, this is for all of you. What hand clapping, foot stomping, sports anthem was a number one hit for the Amy? We will rock you. Yeah, the rock group queen. Way to go. Well played, Amy. Choose again. Uh, nine, please. Nine is what former Beatle has been on the cover of Rolling Stone more than any other artist? Tony. John Lennon. John Lennon, 200 bucks to you, correct. Okay, Tony, uh, 10. Tony, you have to the second of the two. Pop quiz bonus questions up there. Tony, you're going to tell me if it's an Academy Award winning best picture or not. You look excited. Okay. <laughs> All right. Silence of the Lambs. Academy Award winner. Network. Not. Forrest Gump. Academy Award winner. Room with a View. Not. Pulp Fiction. Not. Yeah, Tony. You did it. Thousand dollars to you just that fast. Choose again. Uh, number six. All right. Number six, all of you playing, hands ready. What multicolored, six-sided puzzle swept the nation? Amy? Rubik's Cube. Correct, in 1979, yeah. You buzzed an area a few times and it's paid off two times that you've done it. Amy, choose again. Four. Four Three. is, name the former GM executive who claimed he was trying to save his sports car company. Tony? Oh. Iacocca? No. Amy? Christina Farr was married to him and his name would be... That's one way of going the long His word. name would be... Chris. DeLorean! <laughs> Chris, I'm going to finish the question. You're going to have a you. chance to answer this. He's the former GM executive who claimed he was trying to save his sports car company when he was caught with, oh, 60 pounds of cocaine. John DeLorean. John DeLorean, yeah. <laughs> you knew. 
it, Chris. You knew it, right? She's my pal. Yeah, she helped a little bit, but you knew it. Hey, is that 60 pounds of coke in your car? Or are you just trying to save your company? Okay. Chris, choose again. Uh, we'll go for number two. Number two. Everyone plays on Beverly Hills 90210. Where did the Walsh family live? Tony, order in the court. Uh, they lived in Minnesota. Yeah, Minneapolis to be exact. Very well played. All right. Tony, you and Amy are tied at 1,400. Chris, you have 400. There's one question left. Tony, which one you need? Eight. Yeah, good choice. All right. All of you playing. Hands ready. What long-running music show did Don Cornelius create? Tony. Soul Train. Oh, yeah, with the sound effects. All right. With that correct answer, Tony, you jump out with $1,600. You're winning at the end of round one. Amy, you're only $200 behind. Chris, you have $400. You're going to start off on round two. When we come back from commercial, there's a lot of money up there on the board. Stay right there. Hey, welcome back. You remember me. I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Chris, you only have 400 bucks. You're going to start us off in this round. But you know what I know about you? You used to be a manager for a punk rock band. Is that correct? That's right. They were called Lords in a New Church. It was like the first gig I got out of college. And it was a national tour. And it was an education, let me tell you. Who else you manage? Uh, well, from there, I went on to uh, work with the Bangles for about four or five years. Right, so, so you know what? If that comes up as a question, who managed the Bangles? You just go, uh, I am. <laughs> OK. Amy, welcome to the show. Knows every line of every episode of I Love Lucy. Take a bow right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Favorite episode is? Uh, vitamin and Benjamin. Vitamin and Benjamin. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe that'll come up too. You know, all these things could technically come up, except for you. You inherited, Tony, a record collection from your grandmother right. from the 1940s. How many albums? Over a thousand. And not one CD to be found <laughs> anywhere. All right? Ready to play round two? Because in round two, we have two part questions. First part of the answer is worth $300. I'm going to give you $100 for the second part. Once again, we have two pop quiz bonus questions on the board. And Chris, I promise you would start us off, so please. Right. Uh, let's take number nine. Number nine. For all of you, name the law professor who accused the Supreme Court nominee Clarence Thomas of sexual harassment. Amy. Anita Hill. Anita Hill is correct. Yeah. <laughs> Amy, for another $100. Ironically, at what government agency had Hill and Thomas worked together? This is a tough one. The, uh... Chris, Tony, want to take a stab at this? Uh, Tony. The sexual harassment office? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, lines out the door applying for that job. <laughs> is this where you sign up to get your butt pinched? Oh, yeah. Uh, Chris? Uh, not a clear job. Yeah, it's a tough one. The EEOC, the Equal Employment Opportunities Commission. On everyone, oh, tip yeah. tongues. Chris, pick a question, please. Uh, number seven, John. All right, number seven is a video bonus for every question. Hey, Chris, this is a way for you to pick up some quick money. You can win $1,500. Take a look at our video wall. Celebrity has a question for you. Hi, I'm Robert Hedges, and I played Juan Epstein in what hit popular comedy series from the mid-70s. You better get it right. <laughs> All right. Chris? Welcome back, Carter. Let's see what Bobby said. Yeah. Welcome back, Carter. Very good. Yeah, not only a good answer, 1500 bucks for you. Chris? Yeah, way to play. All right, Chris. Falls in your car. Choose a question. Well, let's go for number one. Number one. All of you playing. In 1988, the right to publish the sequel of what? 1936. Tony. Gone with the Wind. Absolutely correct. Yeah. The rights to publish that went for five million dollars. It's a little bit more than you would win on this show, but just a little bit. All right, Tony, for another hundred bucks, the sequel became a best-selling novel of 1991. What was it called? Savannah? Mmm, close. Chris? Scarlet and Rat? Incorrect. Amy? Scarlet? Stop there. There you go. <laughs> Got a hundred bucks, Amy. Choose again. Number three, please. All right, number three, Amy, is the second of our top three bonus questions. This is our great game called Or Not. Okay? Amy? 
You're just going to tell me if they're a rap singer or not a rap singer, okay? Notorious B.I.G. Rap singer. Yeah, way to go. KRS-One. Uh, not a rap singer. Ooh. Sir Mix-a-Lot. Yes, he is a rap singer. Chuck D. Not a rap singer. <laughs> Flavor Flav? Yes, a rap Yeah, singer. okay. Well, you know what? Three out of five isn't bad. You picked up $900. Nine hundred bucks, and when he gets you some of those gold chains. All right, Amy, choose again. Uh, number five. Please. Number five, it is. Everyone plays. What street corner gained fame as the center of the 1960s psychedelic scene in San Francisco? Amy. Hate Ashbury. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Amy, for another hundred dollars, based on the book Alice in Wonderland, the song White Rabbit was a hit for what San Francisco band? Jefferson Airplane. Yeah, that's how you do it. Please. All right, ten. During a single week in 1992, ABC, CBS, and NBC all aired TV movies about the Amy. Amy Fisher. Yeah. yeah. Not only have you answered the last four correct, you're in the zone. You're like you're in the zone now. I'm zoning. Okay. Yeah. You don't even need me to pick the question. You can pretty much just read my mind. Oh. Yeah. Amy Fisher, she was known as the Long Island Lolita. I know. For another hundred dollars, Amy Fisher got in trouble because of her relationship with what auto body mechanic? That would be the notorious Joey Buttafuoco. Yeah, I think he's Italian. Very well played. <laughs> Amy, choose again. Eight. Number eight. Please. This is for everyone. Okay. In his Nike Bo nose ads, what type of exercise program did Bo Jackson try to get people interested in? Remember the campaign. Amy? Running? Running. Incorrect. Started? Chris, Tony, both have 1900 bucks. Cross training? Cross training, yeah. Way to go. All right. All right. Chris, for another 100 bucks. What other bow starred with Jackson in the Nike ad? What other bow starred with Jackson? This is Chris's question. All right. Now it's up to Amy or Tony. Buzz in if you know it. Amy? Bo Diddley? Bo Diddley is correct. Yeah. <laughs> Amy knows Bo. Choose again. Two. Two. <laughs> don't let anyone tell you you don't know Bo. All right. Everyone plays on August 22nd, 1989. Who became the first major league pitcher to strike out 5,000 batters? Chris. Nolan Ryan? Nolan Ryan is correct. Chris. We now have a multiple choice question. For another $100, and that'll put you within a thousand of Amy if you get this correct. What team did Ryan play for at the time? Look at the video wall. Here's your selection. Was it the Houston Astros? B, the California Angels? C, the Texas Rangers? D, the New York Mets? Well, it would be the Astros or the Angels. I think I'll go for the Angels. The Angels is incorrect. Tony. The Astros. Astros is incorrect. Amy? Oops. The Rangers? Rangers. Yeah. yeah. Texas Rangers. Yeah. Did you know that or did you get it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that worked for you. You picked up another hundred bucks. You're in control of the last two questions. Uh, four. Four it is. Uh, Eddie Murphy starred as Axel Foley in what mega hit movie? Tony. Beverly Hills Cop. Correct. Here's your multiple choice question. For another hundred bucks. Who was originally slated to play Axel Foley in Beverly Hills Cop? Look at the vid wall. Was it A, Tom Hanks, B, Sylvester Stallone, C, Arnold Schwarzenegger, D, Steven Seagal? Sylvester Stallone. Absolutely correct. Tony, got a good game going. Tight game between Chris and Tony. There's one question left. Six. Yeah, I could have guessed it. All right. In 1961, he became the first infant to live in the White House since 1983. Amy. Uh, Kennedy. More specifically. JJ, J John John. John John will take it. Okay. John F. Kennedy Jr. or JFK Jr. That's all right. You don't have to apologize to me. You just call Hyannis Port and apologize to the family. Okay. Amy? Uh huh. For another hundred bucks. Uh -huh. In round two, John F. Kennedy Jr. is the co founder and editor in chief of what new political magazine? It's all yours. George. Correct by George. Yeah.
Way to go. Hey, Amy, at the end of round two, you're winning with $4,100. We got something cooking here, though, between Tony and Chris. And in round three, uh, Tony, you're going to lead us off. We got a lot of money on the board, and we're coming back. We've got a tight game. Sit on your remote hand. We're coming right back. Yeah. Here's a pop quiz for you at home. Richard Nixon's famous statement, you won't have Nixon to kick around anymore, occurred after what political defeat? We'll give you the answer when we return. You won't have Nixon to kick around anymore was his reaction to losing the 1964 California governor's race to Edmund G. Brown. All right. In our final round, round three, our questions are three-parters. The first part of it is worth $400. Parts two and three are worth $100 each. We still have two pop quiz bonuses left on the board. You know what that means? Over $8,000 in this round alone. That means we still got a serious game going. Uh, Tony, you're batting leadoff. Choose a question. Number seven. Number seven. All right, everyone plays. In 1993, Whitney Houston took I Will Always Love You to the top of the charts. Amy? Dolly Parton wrote it. Yeah, unbelievable. How do you do that? All right. For another hundred, what's the name of Parton's Amusement Park in Tennessee? Dollywood. Dollywood is correct. For another hundred, Amy. Dolly Parton made her screen debut in 1980 in what comedy film? Um, 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 uh, 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 with, with... Tony? Nine to five. Nine to five is correct. Okay. You've got control of the board, Tony. Number six. Number six. Okay, Tony, look at this. Sometimes you find them when you need them, all right? This can be worth $2,000 to you, Tony, and that could put you neck and neck with Amy if you get these correct. Tell me if they're a fashion designer or not. Okay, Jean-Paul Gaultier. Fashion designer. Yeah, Mark Paul Gossler. Not. Nope, he's on to save the bell or something. Hugo Boss. Uh, fashion designer. Yeah, okay. Carl Lagerfeld? Not. Oh. Jean Paul Shark? Not. Yeah, okay. How much did you win? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen hundred bucks. You're right up there with four thousand dollars and choose again. Number five. Number five. Everyone plays according to this ad slogan, quote, everyone doesn't like something, but nobody doesn't like Chris. Sarah Lee. Sarah Lee is correct. For 100 bucks, this housewife bought fresh baked cookies to malls from coast to coast. Name her. Chris. This housewife? Housewife, originally. Bought her cookies from... Oh, Mrs. Fields? <laughs> Mrs. Fields, you got it right in there. Okay, I'll give it to you. Chris, what entrepreneur is famous for his chocolate chip cookies? Famous, famous. Yeah, way to go. Okay. Very, very tight game going, especially between Tony and Amy. Chris, you're up. Uh, number three. Number three. Everyone plays. What NBA team did Dollar Bill Bradley play for? Chris. New York Knicks. Absolutely correct. What is his present occupation for another hundred bucks? He's a United States Senator. Absolutely correct. Go for three in a row, Chris. As a Senator, what state does he now represent? New York. Oh, no, no. Don't say it, Tony. Connecticut? Connecticut is incorrect. Amy? New Jersey? Yeah! Did you guess again? Oh. Amy, we might have to institute the no-guessing rule. Choose a number. One. Number one it is, what 1960s radical starred in the sci-fi cult classic Barbarella? Tony. Timothy Leary? Mm, I don't think I'd want to see his breast. Okay, Amy. Andy Warhol? Oh, not his breasts either. Chris. Well, I'm just going to say Jane Fonda. Yeah. you guys out as much as I could anatomically. All right, for another hundred bucks, Jane Fonda, Chris, is currently married to the founder of CNN. Name him. Ted Turner. Correct. For another hundred, Turner also owns the Atlanta Braves. At home games, what controversial crowd gesture has angered Native, Native Tomahawk Americans? Tomahawk chop. Tomahawk chop. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Let me recap this for you. Amy. You have 4,700, Chris, 4,200, Tony, 4,000. The next five questions will determine who goes on to play our bonus round. Chris, choose again. Let's take number four. Number four says, Labor Day wouldn't be the same without which comedian's telethon? Chris. Jerry Lewis. That's correct, Dan. I was just saying the answer in the bell and I'm banging in the whole thing.
Nothing. All right, for another hundred, name the Jerry Lewis classic comedy that's recently been remade, Chris. Um, Nutty Professor. Nutty Professor is good. You are now tied with Amy. This can put you in the lead. In what nation is Jerry Lewis revered as a comedy genius? France. Correct, and then. Pick a number. Chris, pick a number. Number two. Number two is a good number. Okay, Chris. Answer these correctly. This can make you hard to catch. This is a serious comfort oh, behind man. from you. I'm going to ask you to match the state with its nickname, Chris. Focus and may the force be with you. Okay. Holy the Beehive man. State is? Uh, Missouri. Okay. Oregon. Oh, excuse me. The Silver State is? Uh, Nevada. Uh, the Keystone State. Keystone State. Uh, uh, Pennsylvania. The Beaver State is? Oregon. And the Show Me State is? is? Missouri. Yeah, okay. You've got what? Four correct. You pick up $1,600, Chris. Choose again. I'll take number nine. All right. Number nine. Amy, Tony, reflex is ready. What national product does Bob Seger like a rock help advertise? Bob Seger's song, Tony. Coors Beer. Coors Beer is incorrect. What national product, Chris? Uh, Chevrolet. Yeah, Chevy Trucks. Okay. Smoking third round for you. Chris, what was the name of Bob Seger's band? The Silver Bullet Band. Yep. And Chris, what beer is advertised as the Silver Bullet? Coors. Coors Light? Coors Light is correct. Yeah, okay. I needed more. You gave it to me. Chris, 6,900. Choose a question. Uh, number 10. Number 10. Okay. What was the code name given to the 1991 American invasion of Iraq? Chris. Desert Storm? Operation Desert Storm is correct. Chris, for another hundred. What general was commander of the Allied forces? This is Chris's own. I know. Amy, uh, I know you're in Schwarzkopf. Zone. Yeah, Schwarzkopf. Norman Schwarzkopf. Storm and Norman for another hundred bucks. Name the Iraqi missiles that were launched at the U.S. troops, Chris. Uh, Scuds? Scuds. Scuds McKenzie. Yeah. Wow. All right, Chris. One question right. left. It's got to be number eight. Tony. Amy, if nothing else for pride. TV psychiatrist <laughs> Fraser Crane dispenses advice over Seattle's airwaves on what hit sitcom? Tony? Cheers. Cheers is correct. That's where his character originated. <laughs> Fraser joined the Cheers regulars after having been left by whom at the altar? Diane Chambers. Yes, Diane Chambers, right. Last question of the last round, Tony. What were the last words spoken on the final episode of Cheers? Amy, Chris. Final words spoken on the last episode of Cheers? Amy? By Norm? No. Chris? See you around like a donut? No. It was. Sorry we're closed, but you know what? Game's over. Chris, you pulled it out, man. 76 years of thought. With us to play our test of time. Tony, Amy, very tight game. Only 200 bucks separated. But Chris really, really was on fire in that third round. You know what? No one leaves here empty handed. I just won't have it. Kramer and I went shopping for you at the mall. Look what we got for you, Kramer. Our second and third place players will receive the Magnavox Compact VHS camcorder, featuring a 14 to 1 zoom lens for brilliant crystal clear close ups and full scenes from Magnavox. Smart, very smart. Back to you, Jeff. Hey, congratulations. Thanks. Seriously, a major, major come from behind win. Please stay with us. I want to see what this man does when we play our test of time right after these short words. Yeah, that is really well done. All right, welcome back to your American Pop Quiz. Hey, Chris, you know what? Today's big winner, $7,600, but now you're going to be playing for this. Listen up. Aloha, it's a getaway week in fabulous Hawaii. We'll fly you and a guest aboard U.S. Air to the exciting island of Kauai, where you'll spend a week at the Hyatt Regency Kauai. 
Golf, tennis, snorkeling, and beautiful white sand beaches await you on this unforgettable vacation. Jeff? All right, Chris, listen, you're going to be playing our test of time. <laughs> All right, on our okay. video wall, there are five years on the left and five events on the right. What I need you to do is match the event with the year that it happened. You've got up to 20 seconds. I'm going to help you. I'm going to read the event. You're going to call out the year. Are you ready? Let's give it a shot. All right, let's go. Jaws, top grossing film. 1972. Happy Days premieres. 1970. Three. Frampton comes alive, number one album. 1974. Uh, Dolphins win a perfect season. 1975. And uh, Frampton, uh, excuse me, and then Richard Nixon took a trip to China. Well, put it in 1976 for now. But All right, let's now move. we did. Now hold on, let me see. Our judges say that you have zero correct. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to do some quick moves here. Yeah, we're all going to have to do some quick moves. All right, Here's the fast way to do it. You only have 10 seconds. Call out the event in the year and do it quickly, okay? Ready. Ready? Go. Go. Move Dolphins to 74. Move Frampton to 72. Move Nixon to 75. And uh, just uh, move that down there. <laughs> Kind of okay. scientific, wasn't it? Yeah. I All didn't right. Think about that one. <laughs> All right, Chris. You know what? I still have none right, right? Yeah. Oh. You answered the question correctly. You got none right. Let's take a look at the proper answers. In 1972, Nixon went to China. 1973 was the Dolphins' perfect season. 1974, Happy Days premiered. And 1975, Jaws was the top grossing film. 1976. Frampton Comes Alive was the number one album. Hey, you know what? Nothing to be ashamed about. You used a lot of energy coming back from dead last. You know what? You have 7600 bucks. It's a lot of cheese, man. You're coming back to play tomorrow. I will be here to host it as well. See you then.